Frank Tree, chairman of GPCA, and uh, so happy tonight to be here with Ryan Matson. It's really such a treat for, for me, especially and all the members. And I brought the ring for everybody to see. He brought me the ring. Well, so I'm proud to have with us tonight uh, Ryan Matson. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, Happy New Year. Um, I'm honored to share this exciting time with you. It is important to evaluate not only the challenges we face, but also the ways in which we approach them. 2010 was a year, of, as you've heard, full of challenges for me. Um, as many of you know, I was injured. Unable to play ball, I felt like I had let my team, my family, and myself down. As the weeks went by, however, I began to see my injury as a challenge. I knew that even though I couldn't play baseball, I would have to find a way to train as I was healing. When I did get back on the mound, I had a renewed drive. Instead of looking at the season as an insurmountable challenge, I broke it down to weeks, games, innings, and eventually to individual pitches. It felt great to be on top again, and by focusing, I ended up having my best season ever. In the coming months, I, will, I would see another great challenge. Uh, my wife Sarah and I had undertaken a, a year-long project to make our home eco-friendly. We had embarked on this journey for several reasons. Most importantly, we know that conservation has become increasingly important as our planet struggles to meet the challenge of environmental devastation. I know that these challenges are, are ones that you as contractors are constantly facing as well. I hope that our new green home can make a positive impact on our community and our environment. I hope that my visibility as an athlete will inspire others to invest in green initiatives as well. Just like I'd focus on my pitching and playing the best thing that I could, together as a community we can channel our focus and rise to the challenge of protecting our planet. The most grateful beneficiaries of this work will be our future generations. They are certainly worth protecting. And I got drafted in 98 by the Phillies, so I've been here for a lot longer than most of you probably know. And um, I just, I call this place home now. I know a lot, of, a lot of athletes say that, but I literally do live here still. I'm probably the only one left. Uh, I'm shoveling the snow, I'm paying the kids when it gets too high, my back gets tired, and, and especially when people drive by and say, you shouldn't be doing that, protect that arm. So I just, I just hire the kids now. Uh, my three children were all born Philadelphia fans, and I ask them daily who their favorite player is, and they always say Chase Utley still. <laughs> Your core values shape the projects you work on. As you meet daily challenges, these values help you achieve the result you strive for. So in the new year, focus on meeting each challenge deliberately with the values and tradition on which GBCA was built. And with a foundation like that, your accomplishments will help protect our environment.